Hi and welcome back to Game Writer Bytes. Today I'm looking at character voice. Um, Ulrika Techmeyer asked, I'd love a segment about finding the right voice for a character, both while writing and translating, to casting a voice actor. Now finding a character's voice isn't a specific process I go through. It's more an amalgam of different things I bring in as I search in my mind to find the voice. I mean, the starting point is always to be clear about how I develop the characters in my mind so I can see them as they, they write. And creating little bios is very important. I mean, I practically never write lists of traits, abilities and skills because that doesn't quite work for me. So a little bio of, of, or history of who they are and what makes them who they are is important. Even a secondary character like Sancha from So Blonde um, needs to be clear in my mind. So she's a... So she's an unattractive woman who's never married, but is ever hopeful, but who's very prone to gossip. Now these things, along with a few other details, paint a picture in my mind of how she should sound. Now sometimes the voice appears almost instantly, and even feeds into the characterization. I recently wrote a character, and almost from the outset I heard a John Hurt-style voice each time I wrote one of his lines. And it was that unforced slightly gravelly sound that I was after. Now sometimes when I'm groping around to find a voice, I may do a, a sketch drawing of the character in order to kind of get some visual idea. Or look for visual reference, you know, images of, of, of characters and roles and so on, that clarifies this, this feeling a little more. Now other times I may have a, a good idea of, of what a character should, should look like, but need more voice reference. Um, particularly when um, there's a strong accent on the character. I mean, movie clips and, and actor showreels are very important for this. Now, if I'm working on, a, on script editing a translated script, I try to listen to the original voices if they've already been recorded. Um, sometimes this isn't always the case, but you know, so when it's available, I can use this as the basis um, for the lines. Now, sometimes when the voices aren't available, I just have to look through the translation to the heart of the character. Now, casting is always fun because good actors will lift a character beyond my original vision. My favourite in this respect was Dan Russell, who played One Eye in the So Blonde games. He found a voice that was so different to how I'd originally heard it in my head, but which worked so perfectly. I mean, sometimes the writing is just the starting point for something much better. Thank you.